Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the channel. Today we have massive topic. It's about Forex. One of the most frequently asked question is about foreign exchange of currencies. So today we are going to ask is what is happening in Forex really halal permissible Islamically compliant? How do we understand it? So let's get into it. So when we are talking about foreign exchange, when we are talking about exchanging currencies or money, you go to visit foreign country, you want to buy something nice, you need that currency. So you go to the market and you give, let's say, $100 and they give you whatever is equivalent in lire or euros and so on. So Islamic rule when it comes to exchanging of currencies is very, very simple. If the currencies are the same, like a dollar for dollar, you can only exchange them one to one and they must be exchanged on the spot. Another rule when it comes to exchanging different currency is that you can exchange them as you wish, but as long as they are exchanged on the spot. So with that in mind, what are the, some of the ways that we see uh, the currencies are being exchanged? There is a spot market. These are often the markets where you would see big institutions, central banks, are exchanging large quantities of money that they might need for paying the invoices and so on. This is something that most of the listeners here are not going to be engaged with. Another way to engage in Forex is through derivatives. You have these Forex futures and options where you are not really buying really currency, but a contracts. And this is something that most of the scholars will say is not Sharia compliant because you're not trading something that is real anyway. There is no real ownership of the asset and this is just betting on the fluctuation in price. Now finally we come to the retail forex. This is something that you will see all of these courses on your TikTok and Instagram. People are offering you signals or some ideas, uh, teaching you how to see what's going to happen before it happens. All of those get rich quick schemes that talk about trading forex this is the one that we are talking about this is trading forex through what we call contracts for difference cfds now this way of trading forex is actually the very similar to what we see with the derivatives which is that you are not really taking ownership or possession of money at all what you are doing is you are entering into the contract for difference with your platform, with the broker. And this is where the problems start. Oftentimes people think that you are getting some kind of a loan. It acts as a leverage, as if you are buying something real. There is no loan. No one is giving anyone a loan. It's just called like a loan or margin or leverage. So when you are putting $1,000, for example, for a position which is 100 to 1, you are buying into the $100,000 position. You are not taking ownership of 100,000. There is no one who is giving you a loan. So all of this is just terminology. What you are doing is a contract for difference. So you and the platform are entering the contract. It's basically saying something along these lines. I'm putting $1,000 for $100,000 position. If the price is this, then I will get 2,000, 3,000, whatever is the price at the end. If the price is something else, then the platform will get my money. So what is this? When the price of the currency moves tiny bit, this leverage, what we call, this amplification can completely wipe your thousand dollars or make your thousand dollar multiplied. Now the currency is moving one percent, but it is totally wiping or multiplying your thousand dollars. So we see that this is purest form of gambling, where you are pretending that you have actually purchased the money and you are actually benefiting from the price movement. So all of those rules of exchanging of money, they don't even apply to Forex of today. Because Forex of today has nothing to do with buying and exchanging money or currencies. It's like you are watching a birds in the sky and you are uh, write a contract with your friend and you say, if the birds go up, I'll give you $1,000. And the friend says, if the birds flies down, I'll give you $1,000. It's just pretend. 
So in reality, you are not really purchasing anything. You are not trading. The trading is totally incorrect word here. You are simply speculating or betting on the price movement. I've also seen on some of these platforms, they say we have Islamic version. Now, when I read what is the Islamic opinion, they say we don't charge interest. And this term interest here is also misleading. If you don't have any real money being exchanged, there is no even loan to speak of interest. There is no even buying or selling into that. Nothing is really recorded in the real world. It's everything is just recorded on the books of that platform. You are betting against the broker. So when these Islamic options tell us there is an Islamic version, they are saying that there are no fees for certain transactions and there is this interest rate differential, which is just a name for a fees that sometimes is applied. But the reality is whether there is that fee or no, there is no fee. The underlying transaction is not money exchange. There is no real ownership. Both of these are just trading contracts for difference. So in summary, because there is no real buying and selling of these currencies, there is only a contract where we are betting and speculating on a price movement of something that we don't he have even ownership of. This is the pure game of chance. And so it is not possible to make this permissible business. Now, there is one more thing to be mindful of. Because for these platform and brokers to make money, remember, they are betting against you. You are betting against them. You are not even betting in the Forex against the other fellow traders. You are all betting against the platform. And so in gambling, house always wins. They wouldn't be in a business if most of the traders would win. So what you will find often is that the way the system is designed, you have a small margin. Volatility is your enemy. It will wipe you quickly. It won't wipe platform. So what you will find is because how this game is done, volatility sometimes artificially even increased by some of these platforms. And there are many of these platforms. We often find them. They increase volatility just to shake off these traders from their position and small margins so that they can win. And some studies show that somewhere around 85 to 90 percent of all traders eventually lose. So this promise that we see in these get rich quick courses where you can learn how to do these technical analyses, you will supposedly have these signals and access to information and you will look at some pie charts and therefore you will do something. Nothing in real life moves in these pips and seconds and milliseconds. There is no real life forces that do these kinds of things. So this is all purely speculative. People who do this, you can see them after a while, completely gambling lifestyle. They're constantly glued to their screen, watching little movements from second to a second. And they are just fearful that something will completely wipe them off. So only people who make money are the platforms and people who are selling you this fake idea that this is the way to earn money. So my advice for people is that learn some real skill, do something that is useful with your time, do something that is productive, that benefits people, and inshallah, we'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for spending time to watch this video. If you would like to learn more about finance and economy from Islamic perspective, head to our new platform, Muslim Money Matters, where we go in much greater details regarding the content. Until next time, my name is Almi Cholan. Assalamu alaikum.